for some time now, I've had the, uh, the belief that it's the passivity of ordinary good people that is the greatest challenge that we face at this time. When we ask the questions, what is it that I most deeply and profoundly love? What are my deepest and most profound gifts? And what are my deepest and most profound responsibilities? And then we align the answers to those questions and take action. And I think we have the beginning of something which could be truly exciting. But for as long as we stand on the edges, observing and witnessing and yet and perhaps criticizing, but mainly and primarily passive, then nothing can change. We just travel deeper, deeper into, into the challenge. So that's, uh, that's my work for myself. I believe that that's Emicum's work and indeed hundreds and possibly thousands of other organizations, people all around the world who are beginning to move towards the same purpose. The world of our longing, or as Charles Eisenstein says, the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible, is within reach. But we have to take ourselves out from the edges into the center. We have to locate our courage, discover those gifts, and in alignment with what we love and cognizant of our responsibilities, take powerful, effective, focused action. And each of us doing this in our own different ways, combined together, will bring our earth and her people and all living things to that place that we hold as a vision of a world where there is social justice, where life and our experience of our work is spiritually fulfilling, where we have ecological and environmental sustainability and in that way a full, rounded and beautiful future for our children. Are you a